So, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, or Super Mario All-Stars 3D. <clears throat> What's with this game? You may be asking. And what can we expect? Well, the last Super Mario All-Stars game was technically released on the Wii. Well, unless it was released on the Wii U virtu Virtual Console, which I don't think it was. But if you don't count that, then the last one was actually released on the SNES. Hmm. Interesting choice. Now, Super Mario All-Stars 3D brings back some of the older uh, 3D Mario games by Nintendo. Obviously, um, there's Super Mario 64, um, Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy, and that's it. Three games. Hmm. That's not even close to the original Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES that had four games. And then they released it again with Yoshi's Island. I mean, uh, no, yeah, wait, no, Super Mario World on the SNES as well. There was two versions of Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES. One with four games, Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, uh, the Japan Super Mario Bros 2, and America's <coughs> Super Mario Brothers 3. Sorry, I'm still trying to get over this cold. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the second version of Super Mario All-Stars on the SNES is the better deal with five games instead of four, but, eh. So... What can we expect from this new game? Well, as I said, it only has three games, but possibly Nintendo may release an update to it in the future, which um, includes a couple more games. I mean, there's still Super Mario Galaxy 2, and there's also... Um, Super Mario 3D World, and, um, there is also, um, I'm trying to think of a 3D Mario game on the DS, I mean, there is Super Mario 64 DS, but that's not technically, uh, its own game, because it's just a re-release. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't really a 3D Mario game for the original Wii. I mean, there was Super Mario, uh, there, there was Super Mario, um, why can't I remember the name of it? I mean, there's also Super Smash Bros. on the N64, but that is its own series. Um, I mean, there's Mario Party 2, but that's also its own series. Um, uh, New Super Mario Bros. is the one that I was trying to remember. Um, that one isn't really 3D. Um... It was kind of just, well, it was kind of just a cash grab. I mean, they released the first one and they were like, well, we probably aren't, we, we probably aren't going to release another one. And then the Wii came out and they were like, well, we might as well show off what the power of the Wii could do. So, here you go. Oh yeah, and also Wii Sports, just because. And, um, 
then it seemed like Super Mario, um, New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii was where it was at, you know. That's basically where it's at, you know. It didn't get much better than that for the time being. And then Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi U released. And also New Super Mario Bros. for the 3DS. Slash New Super Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, they've kind of milked it a little bit. Even before New Super Mario Bros. 2 came out. You know, they, it was kind of like... Eh. <clears throat> and then, uh... With the Switch, they released New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Which is basically just New Super Mario Bros. U. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course there's Mario Odyssey, which is... Um, I guess still kind of new. I mean... It's been out for... A few years now. I have actually beaten it, so it is actually one of the few Mario games that I have beaten. I really don't know what else to say. New, I mean, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is... Um, well, it's not even out yet, so I don't even know if it's really good or not. But it, it does have <clears throat> three of the best games that Nintendo ever released, I guess. Um, I mean, Super Mario 64 is great. Um, I mean, people are still playing it today, so that's a no-brainer. They, they obviously should. Super Mario Sunshine, that's a great choice, because... That will instantly decrease the value of the GameCube game now. So, that's great. Um, because... If you look on... If you looked on eBay before New Super Mario... I mean, Super Mario 3D All-Stars was released. Um, Super, Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube was... Kind of expensive. And what I mean by that was... Totally... Just unaffordable. <clears throat> on eBay, Amazon, or basically anywhere you could find it. Unless you somehow found it at a garage sale and it was, and it was like brand new or even just in really good condition and they just didn't, you know, were asking a ridiculously low price for it, which is basically impossible because new technology. Sometimes you uh, actually do come across some things, though, like, I recently had a garage, so, um, I did actually come across an Atari 2600 with a full, uh, like, box and a full, uh, custom, uh, slide-out drawer like I have for the N64 full of games, but the guy, um, came out and he said he didn't want to sell it, so, yeah, I didn't buy it. Apparently someone else in his family decided to sell it and just put it out there.